which brings us some, to some other stories in the Seminole, Eric, including Liberty. I'm not sure we got a good measure with them because Franklin County showed how tough they were. Plus, I'm dying to see what JF has with their new coach. So yeah. go ahead. Yeah, you know that district is always stacked. Yeah. Liberty always has some surprises. Nonetheless, they did exactly the same tonight. Did a few surprises here. Getting amped up for this one as they hosted Fort Defiance Liberty's Tanner Stanley swing passes Jonathan Gass. Juke move there. Get the ambulance. Broken ankles on the field. He's going to find the end zone 60 yards. And look at the ref. Oh, Jukes him also. Oh, 7 nothing Liberty lead. That man is lethal. Liberty's run defense stout. Hitting Fort Defiance's Austin Monroe. Stuffing him early. Later, Liberty trying to run the option. Fumble. This is returned by Fort Defiance's Riley Miller. This is going to tie the game up 7 all. Later at the end of the half, Liberty's Tanner Stanley looking for something here. He's picked off by Coy Brown. Nonetheless, Liberty hangs on for the 21-20 victory.